Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to see how to set meter license key for Unidoc products. First, I am going to show you how to get the key. Next, we are going to use it for one of the Unidoc products. You can get this key for free with 100 free credits each month. So let's get started. Go to unidoc.io. On this website, we are going to create a new account. Click on free trial and fill in the sign up form. If you don't have any company, just enter your own name. Once done, click on sign up. And here you can see the dashboard. On the left side, click on the key sign. Click on add API key. And then give the name. I am using it for UniPDF. So UniPDF key. You can use this key for any product. I'm just giving the random name. Make sure you save it somewhere because if the prompt is gone, you won't be able to access the key. If you lose, just come back and create a new key for yourself. Next, we are going to write the code to set our key. So open the editor or any IDE in which you do the coding. So package main and then import the package for printing, open file, and the log for error handling. And next, get the license link for the product which you want to use. And for that, go to the Unidoc API doc. Click on Unidoc documentation, and then select the product which you want to use. In this example, I'm using the UniPDF. So selecting the recent version of the UniPDF and then selecting the license package and then getting the import line from the license package and using it in the import. And then init function. To get the key, always go to this link. Make sure you use the newer versions and then open the file in which you have your API key using the input output util. And then if you get any error, just close the program and then use a license package to set the key, pass the key in a form of a string. If we get any error, that means the string is wrong. Your key is not valid and get the new key and then close the program. Next, I have an example code where I'm going to use the key. So here I'm using, this is inside the main package and I'm using the creator and model from the UniPDF. In my current directory, I only have two files. One is where I'm setting the license key. The other one is the example code right over here. And then I, I want to run both the codes together. So go run dot, that means run all the Go codes in my current directory. Because we need to run the license code every time we run our program. And here you can see I have the resultant PDF file. That's it for today. And if you have any question, feel free to leave the comment below. I will attach the link of this code in the description. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.